Praise the Lord. Because of this morning that for a person of faith, there are problems. All the challenges are still in the field. It has to think we're waiting for God. Most of the time God is waiting for us. And sometimes it's waiting for you to make the first step of faith. So listen. As we go back to the story of the Bible, we need to discover one of the reasons why it became a kind of prayer. And it's because Elijah believed in the integrity of God's word. That when God says something, he knows what he's going to do. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of whether he sometimes experience it is to contradict the word of God, he knows that God's word will finally prove itself true. Faith is holding on to the word of God, even if my experience contradicts it. And holding on until the word of God changes my experience. That faith is holding on to the word of God, even if my experience contradicts it, and holding on until the word of God changes my experience. And that every time we pass away, that is every day that we have passed away, that my word will never pass away. Amen. And there's something you know that, that will never change, that's the word of God. I feel it is fulfilled in your life. Amen. You know, in the story of the life in chapter 18, at the end of the three years of God, he spent six months in the brokery, three years with the widow of Salvat. Imagine three years of unlimited supply of oil and love. Amen. And, uh, and Elijah said, you will continue to enjoy this until the day that the Lord sends rain into the land. Right? And three years later on, in the third year, the word of God says in chapter 18, in verse 1, after a long time in the third year, the word of the Lord came to Elijah, go and present yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain on the land. God said it. I'm going to send rain to the land. In the last part of the third year, now three and a half years, approximately three and a half years have already passed. Since the time that the Lord declared with his mouth that there will be no rain in the land except by my word. Three and a half years of not past one. And God said, Go and present yourself to the people that the people wants to kill you, and I will present rain on the land. Okay? And so what happened? He goes to Obadiah, he meets Obadiah, who was the administrator of King Ahab's palace, and then tells Obadiah, Please tell. I would like to see him. And listen to what Obadiah said in verse 7 of First Kings 18. As Obadiah was walking along, Elijah met him, Obadiah recognized him, bowed to the ground, and said, Is it really you, my Lord Elijah? Elijah? Yes, he replied, Go tell your master, Elijah is here. And then Obadiah said, What have I done wrong? That you are handing your servant over to Ahab to be put to death. You're telling me to go tell Ahab that you're going to meet him. You just pronounced my death sentence. Why do you want me dead? As surely as God your God lives, there is not a nation or kingdom where my master has not sent someone to look for you. And whenever a nation or kingdom claim you were not there, they made them swear they could not find you. But now you tell me to go to my master and say, Elijah is here. I don't know where the Spirit of the Lord may carry you when I leave you. And if I go to Ahab and he doesn't find you, he will kill me for lying. You see the problem? King Ahab has been looking for you for all these three and a half years. And God somehow was able to hide you. And now you're going to tell me that you want to meet King Ahab, and then suddenly the Holy Spirit hides you again, and then King Ahab comes, and you're not here, and I'll be there. And then he says, Please have mercy on me. I am your servant. 
Every 
Israel to the end of the time of the of God. Where are the glorious riches of God? In Christ. Where are you? In Christ. Where are the glorious riches? And all parts of the Jews is what I pray to the eyes of your mind and young that you may know the glorious riches of this inheritance in the saints in you. Those glorious riches in Christ is also in you because of your union in Christ. Every answer to prayer comes from that glorious riches that is already yours in Christ. You're just withdrawing from your back account.
The leader clock said, No, they're ready for the next stop. So he on the sky, he would like to close. The wind rose, and the head of it came on Ahab, and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. The power of the Lord came upon Elijah, and tucking his cloak into his bed, he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. You may give us a price to Chariot, the Buddha part, yes, I don't have a surprise to Chariot. Only the power of faith can do that. Very simple. Effective prayer life comes from a heart that believes in the integrity of God's will. When you have faith that God's word will never fail, you will never stop praying and feeling that makes you a man. Because you know God will show. Lord, my wallet will have a lot of And we can say that word, because what 